Bill Beaver is back again for the Internet Lifestyle Network 100 Day Challenge. 100 videos in 100 days. This is video 3. However, it is day 5. So, I missed two days. Um, I think I have a great excuse though. I was in Nashville, Tennessee having a great time with friends. Yeah, no excuse whatsoever, right? But I'm still going to do this challenge. And I'm going to talk about Nashville um, probably tomorrow because I got some great insights from watching the performers, the bands, the singers, and the entertainers and whatnot. And some of the things that they did, I have some great insights from that. But today is Veterans Day. So I've got to recognize and say thank you to all those who served, all the service men and women um, for serving. Thank you for the past and for the current uh, people that are serving um, in our United States military. Yesterday was the Marine Corps birthday. So a little belated, but I want to I wanna wish a happy birthday to all my fellow Marines. Um, and I want to talk about what I was doing 31 years ago today. November 11, 1982, I was sitting and receiving in Paris Island, South Carolina. Um, I was about to meet my makers, as they say it. I was about to meet my drill instructors. And I was, I was probably thinking to myself at that point in time, what did I just get myself into? What, what, did, I, what did I just volunteer for, by the way? However, at that time in my life, um, I didn't have much direction. I didn't have much purpose in my life. I mean, I had purpose, but I didn't know what it was, actually. Um, I couldn't find a good job, and, and the college thing wasn't for me. I tried that three times. And the classes and whatnot, and the books, yeah, didn't like it. So I'm driving back from Pikeville, Kentucky, Pikeville College, after finding out I lost my basketball scholarship, and I'm like, let's join the military. A buddy of mine, are, we're, we're coming back. Next day, we're like, we want to leave as soon as possible, so the Marine Corps was. Probably the best decision I ever made in my life. Um, after 13 and a half weeks in boot camp and then after four years in the Marine Corps, first of all, the boot camp transformed me, all right? And it probably took three drill instructors to do that, all right? Um, to, to, to give me drive. Uh, my parents couldn't do it. My, nobody could do it, you know, at that point in time. I was at this place in my life where I needed that from, from a United States Marine Corps drill instructor, all right? But it was transforming, and, and it gave me a sense of purpose, and it gave me a drive and an ambition to do other things in life. After I got out of four years in the Marine Corps, I felt like I could do anything and go anywhere and be anybody. It was that type of, of training that we got. Don't get me wrong. There were times I hated it. I'm talking about weeks and months that I hated. You know, it, well, it was not fun being in the field, all right? But we did it. We went through it. So I'm thankful for my time in the Marine Corps, and I want to thank all the servicemen and women and that's, the, that's my message today. Um, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm proud to be a Marine, and, and I'm gonna thank, I wanna thank two people real quick. I wanna shout out to two people that, that I spent four years with in the Marine Corps. Um, we went everywhere together. Jerome Sada, Tom Montgomery, happy birthday. And to all the other Marines out there, happy birthday. Tomorrow's message, I'm gonna talk about living with passion. Um, and it came from my Nashville experience, so today, End of day, uh, end of video three, day five. I'll be back tomorrow. And everybody have a good day. See ya.